Hello there everyone, welcome back to Slime Rancher. Yeah, I've decided to call this ranch Ranch Adorable. Because everything here is so freaking adorable. Anyway, I have gotten most of my gardening stuff moved into that area now. And I got us a second hen hen coop, this one having briar hens. And I've upgraded them to have this grass in there which attracts bugs which they eat and it makes them lay eggs twice as fast meaning we will have significantly more hen hens to give to our hungry voracious little slimes and if we go back here we have one of those mint mango trees it's got a sprinkler and nutrient rich soil making it so it'll have the maximum yield every single time and grow twice as fast. Here we have heartbeats with the same same setup and we have a second field of heartbeats also same setup. The reason I have two fields of heartbeats is because I plan on having a couple more slimes crossbred with the rocky slimes. And then over here we have the Q berries of course. Now to start things off, I have one main goal. Let's go stuff food in the face of that phosphor slime. After of course I dump all these heartbeats into the rock slime pen. And I'm pretty sure everyone else has been fed recently so we don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> Ooh, golden slime. And we only got one. There's apparently an achievement for hitting that thing three times and getting three golden plorts. Which, getting the three golden plort, plorts alone would be more than enough. And we have a tower. Let's just get on out of here. We don't need to deal with that. Have a hen hen. Leave everyone else alone. Eat the chicken. Okay. So the phosphor slime is just over this ridge and in we go. Hello there, little phosphor slime. I have some Q berries to give you. I know how much phosphor slimes like Q berries. We have loads of pogo fruits. But it is not enough to fill his belly. I'm a little bit lost. There we go. It is really dark in there. Sorry there, big guys. I'm not interested in playing right now. I have an important mission of collecting more fruit. Oh good, everything has turned into a tar over here as well. That's lovely. Not safe. Still not safe. Okay, I think everything's safe. Look at these cube berries.
And there should be some Q-berries over here. And angry, angry little slimes. I needed that. Pardon me, I need to get through. And I really need more fruit so I can feed the phosphor slime. I'm gonna have to jump down to the hole, find some some fruit that hopefully isn't eaten yet. But there is another thing I want to do while I'm here. I want to collect some more honey slimes. Stop eating the slimes. No. Bad talk. I have saved everyone here. Congratulations, you all get to live until you stupidly eat more ports than you are supposed to. Eh, never mind. There's too many towers. Good luck dealing with that, you dumb slimes. Uh, you are honey slime. I will take you. You're too big for me to take. There's some fruit up there. Mm. Grabbing those mint mangoes wouldn't really make much difference. Although, there's enough mint mangoes here to make a difference. Get out of here! I'm collecting mangoes, not you guys. And you, stop eating those cute little tabby honey slimes. Eh, I'm not gonna win this war. I best just find some more mint mangoes and get the heck out of here. Please don't explode my face. <laughs> Q-berries. Perfect. Alright, so we get to go back to the ranch. Drop off these cute little honey slimes and turn in this golden plort. Here you go, little honey slimes. Welcome to your new home and here, have some mint mangoes. Are you gonna eat it? Or are you just gonna stare at it? There you go. Enjoy it. I need this other one though. Alright, turn in the honey ports and we should have a couple harvests of fruit in the back. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Lots of mint mangoes. Yeah, your chicken. And a few more Q-berries. This is definitely going to be enough to burst that phosphor slime. Hmm. 
I just realized I don't have a sprinkler on this or the nutrient soil. I'm gonna purchase that and purchase that, and there we go. Alright, more than enough. At least I hope so. And Cleo is whining yet again. I swear, I can't go a, a single day of complete peace and quiet in this apartment. Yeah, I am talking about you. Don't know if she's being picked up by my microphone, but every time I stop talking, she decides that's when she needs to speak up. Hello there. Oop, there you go. Full belly. You ate too much. And now we got another slime key. Now, unfortunately, I can't do anything with it, but at least I have it. And that's just a hen hen. Now, you guys go after that. And it's just another hen hen. What the hell? There's nothing worth it in here. But you know what? I'm gonna give you guys a whole bunch of these cube berries because at least then I can get a, a lot of your your plorts. Alright, I'm gonna leave the rest of you guys in this cave here. That way you won't die in the sunlight. You can have these hen hens to keep you company and I can stumble my way around until I find the way out again. There's a way out. I am very lost. <laughs> Without... <laughs> Without the big slime, I can't remember which way the exit is. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's dark in there. Leave me alone. Suck you up and suck you up and... You guys are happy, but you're still painful. So don't touch me. Alright, so now that we've burst the big phosphor slime, what next is there for me to do? Well, I want to have one of every slime I can get. Which is why I bothered to grab those honey slimes. And not, not really one of every kind I can get, but, you know, a pen of every kind I can get. I will take this, thank you very much, and I will take this, thank you very much. I will also take this, thank you very much, and this one. But you can keep this one. Stop hitting me with your spikes! So, aside from having a pen for each type of slime... Oh, you guys are... are you... You guys are greedy little gluttonous balls of cuteness. I can't say mad at you. But yeah, aside from having a pen for each type of slime, I would like to get a few other crossbreeds going. And I want to automate the feeding process of my slimes. So in order to automate slime feeding, you have to go to this, and you have to buy an auto feeder. And with that, I can just dump a whole bunch of mangoes in here. We'll just do 15 for now. And whenever it it's time to feed them, it'll automatically dump out some mangoes. They'll chow down. The collector will suck them up, and all I have to do is go over here, suck them out of the plort collectors, 
and to go on my merry way. So, I'm gonna have to do that for each of these pens if I wanna... Wanna just kind of keep it all automated. I actually wonder if automation is something that will come to this game. I mean, there is a silo you can make, which can store up to four different items in it. So one would think it would not be out of the question at all to have some sort of piping system or something that will automatically take automatically take food out of the silo and put it into the auto feeders but maybe they don't intend to do that at all because that might ruin the spirit of the game, I don't know. Either way, it is an interesting idea. Are you guys playing with your food again? Yeah, you, you should be eating your food, not playing with it. So I can actually take take these hen hens that I've been launching in here. And they can also get put in the auto feeder too. I'm stuck. Like so. I wonder what that's gonna be like. Just stuck into this little tube for the remainder of your life until you come plopping out of this little funnel here and into the gaping maw of an adorable flying cat-faced creature of eternal hunger. I imagine it's not really that exciting of a existence, is it? Well, I think I'll end this episode here. And I will get everything upgraded with auto feeders in the meantime. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Give a like if you are, subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care and goodbye.